Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about PC Demi's iterative alignment and the way I understand it. So let's get right to it. There are some rules in PC Demi's that you will need to follow when using iterative alignment. First, you need to understand that PC Dimis will need both the measured values and the theoretical values for each element in order for it to do a good iterative alignment. Second rule is that you cannot use planes or lines in the iterative alignments. It is recommended to use only out of vector points, circles, slots, cylinders, cones, basically every element that results in a point. If you are using vector points and you take them far from the nominal data, PC Dimis will ask to remeasure them. It will first best fit the measured data to the nominal data, then it will check to see how far off is each measured point. If the distance is greater than the amount specified in the point target radius box, PC Dimis will request that the points should be remeasured. Basically, PC Dimis will put cylindrical tolerance zone around the theoretical location of each vector. The radius of this tolerance zone is the point tolerance specified in the point target radius box. PC Dimis will continue to remeasure points features until all measured points fall into tolerance. And now let's see the example. Let's create a new measurement routine and call it iterative alignment. Good. Choose your profile. For now, I will choose the profile. This profile. Okay. Now insert the CAD model. File. Import. CAD. Okay, so let's rotate our alignment, go to operation, graphic display window and transform 90 degrees on X axis, apply and OK. Okay, so now it should be fine. Let's see, good. Now press F10. For the parameter settings, motion, set the move speed to 200 and apply. Okay, and put here. I will work directly in DCC mode, but please use help alignment first. Go first, make a help alignment, a manual alignment in order to locate the part on the machine. And after that, use the way I'm describing it right now, if you want to use iterative alignment. Good, go DCC. And now we have to take some points on the surface. Use auto auto vector points. Okay, so I put together a table because we don't have 
something like that in the drawing for this model but I put together a table with some coordinates that I should respect in order for the example to be as accurate as possible for the application that you are trying to use. Okay, so after you set the mode to DCC, you will have to create the clearance cube. Activate the clearance cube. Show clearance cube. Okay. So I'm happy with this because I, I don't have any fixtures, but you should uh, be careful when you do the clearance cube. Maybe make it bigger, make it fit your fixture and make sure you will not have collisions. Okay, I'll leave it like that. And now I will do the points exactly as in the table. So now we have our six points that we want to use as a iterative alignment. Let's create an alignment. Go to insert alignment new. Call it iterative. So go and click iterative. And we have here the level we have to take the level we have to take the rotation and we have to take the origin so basically it's the all six, six degrees of freedom three rotations three translations so first we will have to take two rotations and one translation this is what level do so we will take three points and they will act as a plane so p1 P2 and P3 will act as the plane P1, P2 and P3 and set Z axis as the level right okay select then we will have rotate two points right and we will have P4 and P5 as the line so P4 and P5 as the line and we will have X axis that uses the line, right? Select. And the last one P6, we will select it as Y axis. Okay, and now we've taken all six degrees of freedom from the part. Uh, I usually check this one measure all always uh, because I wanted to make the iteration on all the points if something isn't right to recalculate all of them okay so check the measure all always maximum iterations will be 5 point target radius will be 0 0.1 the start label if you want you can put a label uh, to make sure that it stops or it announces you that something is wrong or the values are too out of specification or are too deviated. This is more important, the point target radius, I usually work with 0 0.1, but it really depends on the tolerances that you have on the drawing, uh, because if you have bigger tolerances, then use bigger point target radius. Remember that the point target radius PCDMIS will put cylindrical tolerance zone around the, 
the theoretical location of each vector of the point. So the radius of the tolerance zone is the point tolerance specified in the point target radius box. So remember this, whatever you put here, it's like a, a true position for the point. Okay, and fixture tolerance, leave it like that and okay. It will ask you to measure the points now after you finish if you want you can do it so it can see where the points are and if it needs to make uh, adjustments on it okay everything seems fine and that is it now i i have my iterative alignment which is a best fit alignment but it's a more complex alignment good you can also use this when having RPS point on the drawing. So this is the way that you can do RPS alignment in PCDB. In order to create a label, you only have to insert a command. Write label. Insert the name of the label, for example, iterative underline all of you alignment okay and now go to the iterative alignment and right here at the start label set the name of the label set okay measure the features and it's fine okay okay again and it's fine like this yeah so this is useful whenever you wanted to start the alignment from this label if you have previous features before the alignment then it's useful to use the label thank you for watching i hope you learned something today this is the way I personally understand the iterative alignment. I hope you enjoy my content. Leave a like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a nice one.